Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Spotting Gaming's Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 2. We are in Forley. Here we are. Nice. Looking, uh... Yeah, one of the main reasons I don't like this, um... This, this level is because it's so ugly. It's so gloomy. You know, there's no, like... I mean, look, it's like ten, ten shades of grey, into it? There's no colour, except my cape. Anyway, um, hopefully everyone is well today. Um, I collected all of the chests and the feathers and all those, uh, and all that crap. See? We're all done for now. Uh, I, I can go back and give them to, uh, Maria, or Etia's mummy, and we get a, a little I guess you got a little cutscene when you give a 50. So I got 54, so I will be doing that. Um, we've also got some secret locations, which is one in this area and then the one in. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What's the last area we went to? Um, Tuscany. So we can do them today, but first I want to get this area out of the way first because this area is fucking ugly. <laughs> yeah, so what we have to do is look, take a quick look at the map. Um, there's the tomb. What well, we 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 got to come back here for the shitty DLC, unfortunately, which is one of the DLCs that I fucking hate. Absolutely hate it. I hate both of the DLCs. Um, this is probably the reason why they cut them from the game is because they're shit. But unfortunately, um, I have not done any of the assassination missions or the couriers or the racers. I really don't give a shit about them, so I've left them. As per usual. So we need to head up to Leonardo, who repeats this. When, when we get near him, he'll start saying stuff. Wait for it. In fact, the subtitles would normally kick in before you can hear him. Come on, say it. He's not saying it. God damn it. There he is. You can steal from boats, which is kind of... Here. Over here. There it is. Yeah, he says that constantly. I, I, he doesn't shut up until you go to him. And you can hear him... He, I, I like you get the the um, the subtitles for it randomly before you here. even hear it. Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never shuts up, unfortunately. So let's talk to him. Cutscene. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. You would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance. <laughs> Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there. I need help. And there she is. Uh, I think her name's um, Sathia Swartzer or something. I don't fucking know. Just, I hate her. <laughs> I can't stand her. I don't know why. She rubbed me the wrong way. You have to save a stoop. I don't even know how she got there. So I have to get wet to save a woman who he obviously wants. Yeah, he obviously beds her. She's old enough to be his. I'm pretty sure she's old enough to be his mom. But you know. Um, Ro. There we go. Why are you not moving? Oh, you have to actually hold. Oh, it's been a while since I've used a boat in this game. Probably not the best thing to ever want to use because, you know, there's no point. Dio del cielo, aiutatemi! Madonna. Oh, you're good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress. Only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. 
Oh, Katarina. Sforza. Auditore. But please, call me Ezio. I'm Katerina. Now, Ezio. We must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yeah, look. Everyone here, everyone in this game is driven by the lust. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I took care of it. Thank you, Katarina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Thorley, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> It's quite all right, my friend. Oh, there we go. You know who she reminds me of? Famke Jensen. You know the girl who played um, Jean in the X-Men movies? And um, what was the name she played in GoldenEye? Um, I don't fucking remember now. But yeah, she, she got her face. I don't know if it's meant to be. But yeah, she did look like Famke. Interesting name. Famke? Well, she's Dutch, so... Oh, why our name sounds so cool anyway we can leave and um be done there but we like i said i never want to come back to this place but i have to i don't have a choice i don't know how to delete the dlc unfortunately so yeah there is um there is a few things that i still need to collect like i need to do the the tomb which is all the way over there there is a um what they called the truth you know those glowing red thingamajigs i think it's on the wall over there on the back side of it so i will need to come back but i know for a fact that we're gonna go back to desmond now i know for a fact that it's excited to look because i've said this three times now and i failed each time <laughs> but here we go be careful Ezio. do you know who that was my next conquest hey -o. <laughs> uh, i don't think so Ezio. that's caterina sforza daughter of the duca di milano her husband is husband see her husband is the lord of forley that woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Take him with his penis. That boy Ezio. Yeah, Katarina is um I think she's 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 in Brotherhood. Oh everything alright? Better than alright. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the animus can have uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. Picked up Ezio's eyes for looking at ass. Did you notice? He was staring at her like he wants to mount her. Ah, men in this game thinking of their penises. But yeah, here we go. We are back to being shitty Desmond. Uh, this is kind of weird. I don't like you, Sean. What are you up to? What am I up to? Who are you? My mum? Look, why are you being so hostile? Pages, looking to see if any of them are still around. And? Nothing concrete. Reports of one in the archives of the National Central Library in Florence. Maybe a few in the hands of collectors. Probably Templars. I'd send someone to check it out, but we're very short on manpower. How do you think the Codex wound up in Italy? I mean, it seems so random. Dante Alighieri by way of Marco Polo. Seriously? 
Something happened in 1321, yeah? Now, I'm still working on making the connections, but from what I can tell, Polo encountered the assassins while visiting Kubla Khan. This right, this must be when he obtained the Codex. Now, when he returned to Italy, he passed it on to Dante. Dante was close to him, if not an assassin himself. Now, I've no idea what brought the two of them together, but I'll tell you what, I reckon we could find out. I don't think Lucy wants us messing with the Animus. Yeah, you're right. We've got enough to deal with. I guess satisfying my curiosity will have to wait. Now that's kind of awkward because it explains why the codec ended up in Italy. In fact, it explains why the codec ended up where it is now. Well, not physically now, but in, um, you know, in Assassin's Creed 2 world. Because of um, we explored his ancestor's tomb, which is DLC, so it's not canon, is it, in part of the story? Because it's more like uh, background filler. Which we know why Dante and Marco Polo um, had the codec. Because we, we, went, we, we literally went through all the memories of his, um, of Ezio's grand, great grandfather. But yeah, it's kind of awkward. Showing you already know you've seen me play that part of the game, you dumbass. Anyway, we should be able to jump around now. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you have to do this. So, yeah, so this part is kind of cool. So what's the plan? Get in there. We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Ah, Lucy. Obster goes out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Oh, went all near on me then. Good old Matrix. So yeah, now we can uh, Now Desmond has the ability to climb. Like Ezio. Everything Ezio can do, or um, Desmond can do. So you should be able to just... Yeah, just, just walk up here. I think this is what people wanted in the um, in the modern day, and they kind of ruined it, didn't they, when they decided to kill off Desmond? Oh, that wasn't me. Uh, Lucy, oh, I remember I'm that. seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than thirty seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single Oops. one of that series. The oh. adoption rate is fantastic. Can I Another get the horse? Another day or two and we'll be done. No? Oh. All right, you got to tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became hmm. obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. Is that it? A few of the records of his later animus sessions are missing. Huh. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through. <sighs> after everything I put him through. It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed 16 so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. Maybe. So you're after the Codex and the Vault. I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. Oh, shit. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. What color is she? Too blue. Hmm. Hmm. 
I hate what they did to Luis's character. Oh, this is kind of cool. You're like, okay, let's go back to the room now. Okay. Whoa. Hey, look, it's Templars from Assassin's Creed 1. Oh. This is, this is the bleeding effect, isn't it? Oh. That woman, or... Just doing the old, um, follow me in a very sexy way. Yay! Yay, back to this? using the old Altair. Oh, his finger's not there. A creepy Altair. How the hell? Acre. Not even in the animus. It always moves me, me out of the way he says Acre. Having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. That bitch, put your face in. Oh, I've got no weapons. Oh. oh man. This part of the game makes me want to play Assassin's Creed 1 again. It really does. That must be his target. Hey, wait for me, mysterious stranger. Who's kinda coming on to me? Where you going? You know, it's kind of funny about about this get uh, this part of the game is you can beat you can beat them to um to where they're heading. <laughs> I know exactly where they're going. Oh shit! He doesn't. Oh man, I keep thinking I'm Bayak. Bayak has a ridiculous long range when it comes to climbing. She's going up, up, up and up. Going to ladder's mine. Yeah, so if you ever played Assassin's Creed 1, this will be very familiar. Because this door's normally closed. Creepy. Oh no, don't tell me you bugged out on the, on the, come on. There you go. Come on. It looks like she waits for you until you get to her. Talk about making me work for a target. Oh, fucking hate climbing this. This is the the one building in the in the game that I used to hate climbing, because compared to how Sobby climbs. Compared to um, Ezio, it, it is weird coming back to these, um, especially to the original, you know, all the way back to Assassin's Creed when you've been playing like um, Origins. Like you, you, you don't you don't really realize how picky he is when it comes to climbing. Like he won't just climb up a wall like you'd expect him to. Come on, we're almost there. So yeah, we're, we're in Akka, just in case. If you never played Assassin's Creed before, then this would mean absolutely nothing. That's not creepy. Oh, it's definitely a female. Hey! I can't zoom in. It's the woman from Acre. What was her name? Maria. Maria, yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Again, if you're not played Assassin's Creed 1, you wouldn't know who that is.
Bye, Maria. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Elta here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh, shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. She's prego. Oh, Tia knocked her up. This is where the, um. It diverges between. Uh, this is where Ezio's timeline splits, I think, from um, Altea. Because Altea's timeline is born from obviously a female. And it's Maria. Come back, Maria. Oh. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were. Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. And nobody says anything about him passing out on the stairs. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. Yeah, take the butt plug out, you fucking ass, and ram it up your, down your throat, you prick. I hate that guy. Why is he so... Why is this so, un, un, you know, why is this so un, antagonistic? Why, why are you such a prick? You stupid haircut, dick. Anyway, yeah. So I got Maria pregnant. Maria is basically she was Robert de Sable's right hand woman. I guess you'd say. Well, she used to be right hand man until it turned out she was a woman. But then, I'll, and then I think she played a role in is either one of the books, or it was the Godforsaken game for the PSP, which was to do with him going to Cyprus, I think. Hey. Uh, hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. You sure? We lost two more teams last night. That's eight more of us just gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Hey, remember what you told me? You gotta have faith. And look, here we are, really safe and faith? sound. <laughs> For how long? And when they find us, then what? When that happens, if that happens, we'll deal with it. I'll keep you safe. Anyway, enough with my little breakdown. I should get back to work. And so should you. Okay. Thanks for the, um... Thanks for crying on my shoulder. I really don't want to talk to you anymore. Anyway. Can I go back in here now? Yeah. And that's the last time we used Desmond. <laughs> From what I remember. I don't think you ever leave the Animus again. Until the end of the game, I think, maybe? Yeah.